Welcome to the show, I Have Notes, the show where people with surprisingly full IMDb pages discuss all things animation, creative, and how Carrie has made all of our merchandise. I'm your host, <laughs> Issa Vadiola, and of course with my co-host, with my co-host, my co-host is... Uh, Carrie Shawcross, our, our new merch designer. Uh, and with us, <laughs> as always, literally so far, we have Aaron and Jordan. Hello. Our favorite. Howdy. Hi. We're back. Fun fact: I, uh, When you hear, when you fact. see us dancing to the music at the top of the show, we actually can't hear it. Oh no! <laughs> actually, That's I don't know if you about I me. I hear it in my mind. Oh, I yes. I can't hear music. Do you oh. know? You know how like some people like can't visualize things. Like I can't hear music. Is that is that what tone deaf is? Uh, yeah, I'm I'm beat deaf. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also lying. Uh, that's like my new thing. Selective deafness. Uh, I'm a liar. That's my. I'm, I'm trying this new thing out where I lie. It's called lying. It's it's been working out for ten years now, so <laughs> might as well keep it up. Uh, yeah. Do y'all want to see some of my great merch I made? Please. Yeah. This is uh this is my my I have notes uh, water bottle. Whoa. Uh, I'm waiting for my camera looks to focus, like, but it won't. So that's fine. Looks like you ran out of space there, bud. Well, oh, it's you know, sublime. look. It's uh, art. Yeah. <laughs> you know what it is? It's a conversation starter because now yeah. you're looking at it and you're thinking, what well, happened? I have notes. <laughs> My camera's never going to focus. All right, that's fine. I didn't need that. But uh, yeah, <laughs> I was on really jump. Intentional. It was a lot of fun. Uh, I hadn't like, I've seen the show, but I'd never, I'd never been on it, obviously. And like, I, I wasn't, I had I never, I haven't done too many like contestant kind of shows. So it, it was mm -hmm. a lot of fun. Uh, is it? Can I don't I know if it's true or not. on right now. Oh hell yeah! I start presenting. Did uh, Mike? Did you say you have a clip? Oh my <laughs> god! Oh. All that merch. Look, I I needed to oh, promote man. us. I love your basic OBS skills. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! That was us dancing in the outro. Please. Oh. <laughs> I have them. Yeah. Uh, I have all of those taped now to the side of my computer. Just in so case I need them. You didn't use paper. You used paper towels. I used paper yeah. towels. <laughs> I didn't have any. How like, did you get paper towels have to this be time? Soft, Aaron. I don't have <laughs> loose paper. And and if I spill my spaghetti, I oh my it god, up. it's not a stain. Perfect. Yeah, that I should won't... that should be our first our first one: handkerchief or a towel. I have yeah. <laughs> hey, if you make a mess, don't worry. We have notes. I have notes. <laughs> <laughs> I won't lie, that hat looked pretty good. <laughs> right? Mm, Jordan wants it. Yeah, we can, uh, let's talk. Maybe we can, I like your hat. It oh. would be better oh, yeah. if it, cool. it said IHN on it, but um, <laughs> maybe that's pretty good. Yeah, we'll just use this and instead of like inside the burger, it'll just say I have notes or IHN. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> I was thinking, hey, I had a new slogan idea for I have notes. Uh, mm -hmm. Let me know what y'all think about this. Uh, it, well, everybody but Jordan, let me know what you think about this. Uh, oh, come on. I have notes. A thousand percent eat. But, uh, <laughs> what do y'all think? That's a lot of eat. That's a lot of eat. In fact, it might be ten times more eat than other. Uh, is other it too shows. much eat? There's no such thing. Look at me. Okay. There's no such thing. I have notes. <laughs> how's uh? How's everybody doing? Doing good. Oh my should God. should we mention that we're recording this in advance? <laughs> good job, Aaron. <laughs> uh, double merch. <laughs> you Whoa! thought it was a chump shirt guess what <laughs> yeah we're we're recording this before uh memorial day because that's like our usual recording day so uh if i guess if the world ends over the weekend we're, we're not going to talk about it but also the world's over so nice. who cares at that point you know yeah, anyway nihilism. it's it's friday so i'm in friday mood where i'm just like coasting into the weekend this is the last thing i'm doing for the day you okay. feeling you feeling pretty rebecca yeah. black Oh, it is fried egg over here. <laughs> Wait, did you guys know that she's coming out with like new music now? <gasps> Monday. She, you uh, joke, but she made Saturday. She it did. only makes she sense. Did. She, did. she did. And she's like uh, reinvented herself because she's like older now, not 13. Good when she, made she Friday, can actually but she's sing, like it turns out. Yeah, she sings. And I'm like... Damn, Rebecca Black, you go. And she had, she was talking about the it, the sad part, of course, with Friday is that she was bullied a lot in school. So mm. I think she, I think the story is that she had to go be homeschooled because Oof. of it. Um, Kids are awful. And now she's stronger, and she's like, "F all the haters. I did what I did because I wanted to, and now I'm still doing what I want to do." Hell yeah! And it's just like, go, Rebecca Black. Go I always felt you. like 
we always made fun of the idea of the song more than her and the way she sung it like definitely yes. i never really like made fun of her for like look at this girl trying to sing yeah. and she's bad it was more like what a interesting idea for a song <laughs> Well, yeah. To, well, I also like to to. I think the concept of like buying a music video, yeah, was like yeah, a little like was, eh, you know. Well, that was running rampant. Remember Chinese food? Oh God, yeah. It was the same person. It was like the same company, wasn't it's it? It's the same, yeah, oh, the same right. like producer guys. Because he's the in same every random video. guy in the middle rapping. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he was in a he was in a panda suit or something. I wonder oh, what he's God. doing now. Yeah, is that company still around? I don't know. I'm very curious. An answer for next time. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So yeah, uh, Rebecca I'm Black, if you want to come on the show, uh, <laughs> talk animation. Sponsor, I have notes. We yeah. can we can record any we'll day of the animate. week. You pick. We'll we'll animate a music video. Yeah. We can have we can start the sponsorship. <laughs> <laughs> please, yeah. yeah that please th this watch. is me. I have notes. Yeah, we can. Uh, I'll I'll do crappy obs graphics uh i'm gonna say let's edit that just say so please come on our show yeah. <laughs> i'll add it please. i'll add it i just love that last just please oh, yeah just please i would be very curious to talk to her about like her experience through that time and how mm -hmm. it has affected her now especially creatively like oh yeah um i would also wonder like who wrote friday was it her idea? <laughs> mm. I can only I she imagine. Discussed, though, right? Yeah, she's discussed parts of the behind the scenes, like how it came to be. But I don't know if that was ever mentioned, like if she wrote it or if the company did or whatnot. Yesterday yeah. was Thursday. Well, it's actually true today. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if you're if you're watching this on YouTube, the day comes out. It's very relevant to you. It's very relevant. <laughs> Uh, Though to be fair, yesterday Joe Clary did say, "Hey everybody, happy Friday!" Oh and my was, like, god! Collectively, love, like, eh? what a big... I love Joe so much. <laughs> what a <laughs> what a, a misstep! Right? What a... Uh oh, <laughs> well, it's if just that, if the head of the department says it's Friday, <laughs> does he then have to make it Friday? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah, Joe, he, you should have given of... us the day off. I was gonna say I'm head out. of department supersedes God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Four day weekend I mean, now, much. baby. Four, yeah. <laughs> wow, Joe, you're it. so generous. <laughs> I think it's it's very indicative of where we're all at mentally. Yes, uh, absolutely. I, I it took me all day to shake it being Friday. Like I thought it was I thought it was Friday all day on Thursday. Mm -hmm. Oh, so he Oof. made a prediction. Yeah. <laughs> I just never know what day um, it is anymore. Also true. I, I think um, I'm gonna start so I started off hmm. I started off when we were doing work from home and I was like, I'm gonna, I'm only gonna work in my home office. I'm very fortunate. I have like an extra bedroom, so I have a home office. Nice. Um, and I'm like, this is gonna be my space. And yep. I think we even talked about it. I think it was on this show when we talked about like how your brain makes memories and how, you I know, so. maybe, okay, maybe not. Yeah. So, but like, <laughs> it's when you're just sitting in, in the same spot all day, looking at the same screen, it all starts to blur together more because yep. your brain makes memories by making like little snapshots. Uh, yep. um, yes. So I'm starting to think about like, oh, I'm writing. Okay, I'm gonna go in this room. Oh, I'm I'm you know doing podcasts. Okay, I'll be here. Okay, I'm oh. I'm doing like I'm doing directing stuff. I'll go over there. Like trying to like spread out through my house because I was trying to separate work from home, but yeah, smart. Now it's you just all blurring that. together. Yeah. I think uh, yeah, that's kind of the philosophy from that. Uh, CGP gray video we talked about a couple weeks oh, really? ago where he he recommends yeah, right. doing like the the certain activities um like reading and entertainment in a separate space from where you work and from where you mm -hmm. exercise um and from where you sleep but uh mm -hmm. that also that makes sense because like we're you know 8 hours a day you're working so yeah <laughs> like and and you you make like memories from relative points like that's how you get your sense of time but if i'm in the same spot for like eight hours a day and then i just go downstairs i don't feel like i've like there's nothing i can really like have a checkpoint for you know yeah <laughs> right it's like i was up here now i'm down here like i didn't drive yeah. home like there was no like <laughs> clear separation of like this mm -hmm. ending and then this beginning like the walk downstairs to go <laughs> into the living room isn't isn't long enough for that for me
Hey, at least you have stairs. My bedroom is like right there. So <laughs> yeah. I was like, I forgot which way my bedroom was. But yeah, like, it's like, oh, okay, I'm going to go to bed now. That's what it used to be like steps. for me when I, when I used it's to awful. work from home. Um, uh, when I used to work on RTAA, like uh, from September 2011 to December 2012, I was like a remote worker. And so mm -hmm. I would, my computer was right next to my bed in my bedroom. So I would literally, Oof. I didn't even have to touch the ground. I could roll out of bed into my chair oh, no. wow. <laughs> and start working. And yeah, that was a dangerous, uh, dangerous uh, <laughs> setup. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's Aaron, a spiral. Maybe, That's what that is. Maybe you shouldn't, uh, maybe you should just keep this apartment too. <laughs> there you go. This, this hey, can be I'm your office. I'm ready to go. I told Lisa about my unfortunate neighbor uh, oh, situation. No. Are you, are you, Since can, everybody's home, can you hear sex? They're all extra annoying. They're what? <laughs> right, can you hear them having sex? <laughs> no, thank God. Um, oh, but man, I hear a ton of other though. shit. Um, so everybody's home. Uh, I have my our balconies face each other, like in this tiny little courtyard. So if I wanted I to, that. I could probably jump from my apartment to theirs, like <laughs> Spider Man style. Um, so right now I have the blinds closed behind me, but occasionally I'll keep them open during the day. And my downstairs across neighbor is like an older gentleman. And uh, he loves to sunbathe, like, uh, constantly. Yeah. Uh, and he's, okay, he's can you rate... Uh, very can you rate, crispy. Can you rate <laughs> his <laughs> physique? Can you rate his physique? Physique. Uh, he's got, like, dad bod. Like, he's... Okay, that's in, he's though. He's kind of slowly melting. It's not a good dad bod. It's like, oh, oh you've been a dad for, like, 20 years. And now you're, like, slowly <laughs> oh. melting. It's very like crispy. We need to separate crispy. out dad bod and like father bod. Father, yeah, he's a grand. I'm pretty sure he's a grandfather. He's Ooh. an older dude. He's yeah. got that, so that it's like, grandfather oh, bod. So see, see this partially crispy Let's... dude outside. I, I it's kinda... on top of other shit. So yeah, I'm ready. I kind of, I kind of want to dissect that. What, what is father bod versus dad bod? Is is dad bod like the attractive one? I think and so. And father bod is the not. Yeah, I think I would, yeah. I, I think like when it. you see a dad bod, you think you think strong, mm. you think uh caring, soft. Soft, but 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 there's there's remnants of some harshness there. Yes. Right? Mm. He's um, gone through the battles. <laughs> right. Right. I think with a I, I think the, the most trials. important thing about a dad bod is that that you feel like if you, those arms wrapped around you, you just feel like safe for once, right? <laughs> but with a father, a father bod, you're more, oh. you're starting to worry about their health a little bit, maybe. <laughs> and like, you, like you're maybe like you're suggesting salad a little bit more. Um, Stop sunbathing for 20 hours a day. <laughs> yeah. Like, I think a dad bod. I don't know bod, how you would sunbathe for 20 hours a day, but he's found a way. A, a dad bod you you want to take care of you but a, a father bod you want to take care of do i though well you know that's a, that's <laughs> it's a, not that you, you know. want to it's that you have that like inclination oh, I have yeah. no choice. the lizard the lizard brain is just like oh, no. oh you need help <laughs> but like you know you don't act not for me it. yeah somebody yeah, no, help no, him i'm not gonna touch you no <laughs> <laughs> i hope you have grandkids <laughs> yeah. yeah oh that was great that was great yeah, yeah, I don't think I could have put it guys. better. And uh, honestly, yeah. I didn't understand like the difference until now. Yeah, or even the I appeal. Could, I'm glad I could finally help. Uh, the next step is someone the do something. Father bod, like a Pokemon. Yeah, I think I think father father bods were probably the ones calling. Uh, this is my segue. Uh, I think father bods <laughs> are probably the ones calling for uh, the Zack Snyder cut. <laughs> you know what? One hundred percent correct. <laughs> Can somebody? Oh. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Now, okay. see, okay. I want to uh, before we get into it. Okay, this is going to be our trickiest trick yet because I think we all have perceptions and opinions on, you know, this in particular, um, like everything from toe to tip, uh, the <laughs> the movie, the the over arc of the movie, the mm -hmm. the cinematic universe, the. Uh, the apparent need for this mm -hmm. uh new cut of this movie and i just you know this is this is a chance for us to really drive home the constructive positive 
discussion aspect of the show. Go ahead, Carrie. Okay. Uh, okay. I hate the DC universe. <laughs> no. No, just kidding. I'm just kidding. Okay. No, 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 no. No, no, no. What, no, what I was going to say is, can, can somebody, I, uh, I have not really seen any of the DC live action universe. I, I saw the first Superman. And what was it? Was it just, Henry was, Cavill, right? Yeah, it was just Man of Steel. Is that what it is? Yeah, yeah. 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 I saw that, and I was like, uh, "That was okay." I don't, I don't like. I like Marvel. I think that I'm gonna like stick to that. Um, and I just like didn't really watch anymore. What? Why is there Zack Snyder? Did he direct it? Okay, the story behind it is it's a little complicated because Zack Snyder, uh, I think he did about seventy five percent of the movie. Um, okay, yes. and he had. The family tragedy where his daughter uh took her own life and he had to leave oh, no. the set and joss whedon came in and he finished it mm, um okay. so that cut that went out you know is i think all the post stuff uh edit work was all joss whedon okay, so okay people who are disappointed by the movie think that if you know they had just had the opportunity to see the Zack snyder vision uh come to fruition that it would be better hmm. and that's definitely personally based an on yeah based on my views and experiences with Zack Snyder Zack Snyder's work I don't get that point of view mm. can, mm -hmm. can I ask what was it not good was the movie not was there something was the movie something not good was in the movie? For Justice League it, it was a bit of a mess okay it is Justice League, because I watched Justice League as well. Um, wanted to support uh, Ezra Miller, Stan. Um, He's in it for like two seconds, too. Which is the worst part. <laughs> he tricked yeah, but you. In the fucking, he in the, in the Snyder Cut, it's like 20 minutes. Oh, oh my God. the Snyder Cut. <laughs> now so Ace is on board. <laughs> I just want Ezra Miller. Um, so the, the movie itself. Uh, someone who has watched the movie, uh, uh, someone who has liked DC, like we, I think we can all kind of unanimously unanimously agree we all grew up with DC, just not 100%. necessarily this DC cinematic universe that mm -hmm. they wanted to construct. Mm -hmm. um, I did also watch the first Band of Steel, and I was not I was not a fan. Although to be fair, I think Superman as a hero is not my favorite character. I'm not super into the idea of God being a being and being a superhero with mm -hmm. humans kind of a thing. Well, there's the, um, before you get too far away from that, let me just, we can come back to that actually, because okay. I, because that comes down to the way media portrays Superman, which I always think they kind of get wrong, but Mm, mm -hmm. Ooh, valid point um so justice league as a movie they they definitely tried and uh, i think they they did want to try to kind of hit that marvel thing uh mm -hmm. hence why they did kind of pay joss whedon to come in and like finish this movie um yeah because i mean it he, was not he directed the first avengers yes the first two uh, he directed the, the first two the first okay. two yes okay um uh, Justice League was not my favorite out of all the DC Cinematic Universe movies. Um, I It is a mess, but I was entertained for po a good portion of the movie. I think... Oh, not even the, all of it? Not all of it. I haven't because, actually seen it, so I think I was going to say that way. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, do you do you, Aaron. There, there is a portion where Superman comes in, and that that is the part where it kind of went like... Oh, this doesn't entertain me as much as the rest of the movie did, um, because it, it. Man, I have was feelings, it, but also I just it, wanted Ezra Miller and Cyborg to like do their thing, and th then Superman came in and decided to be the main character again, which I was like, okay, never mind. I I'm not as fond of. Was this. it was it kind of like the last two episodes of Darling in the Franks? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> We're just like like you feel like you're like going somewhere, and all of a sudden it's like. Oh, we're going that. Okay, we're go we'll go over okay, there. We're going that way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Kind of it, seems like the movie never really knows turn. where it wants to go. Um, yeah, does anybody turn into a giant spaceship? <laughs> I had to think about that very critically for a good second. The fact that that's not like a yes or no is like uh, <laughs> the like uh, the like 
the final like thing that like resolves all the conflict and like well uh never mind <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna so, like, my... spoil the entire movie yeah yeah uh, well, it's been out for a while um my I mean, we're thing gonna have a new just, cut, so my thing is just like most of the time i was gonna say about superman is yeah he's he's the superhero who's overpowered and can't be beaten so that's not what's interesting about him what's interesting about him is that like people are scared of him and he's basically mm. he's like a parable for an immigrant story where you know mm. like a re- surrounding him is mystery and the unknown and change and mm-hmm. you know people either reject that or you know believe in the good in him and progress and stuff so it's mm. The, they never tell that story, though. It's always, mm. who's Superman uh... going to punch? <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. I yeah, You put it, oh, God. Now I'm kind of just like, oh, I want that Superman. But it is it is because of the way that people really portray him in media and how they don't ever stray from that, that he has kind of turned into this, like, white Jesus saves America. Exactly. And it is, it is that that's what really annoys me. That's not what he's <laughs> supposed to be. Uh, you're right, Jordan. I agree with you. Yeah, I mean, it feels, it feels say, like he was oh, meant to be this perfect character that's flawed. Like he still yeah. has flaws. Like that's why I, I honestly like. Yeah. I feel like my favorite version of Superman is All Might from My Hero. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. I, I thought that did a lot of similar things uh, with, you know, it, it's obviously not like a one to one, but I thought it was a little bit. They they played some things more interestingly than I've seen last few years. And I, I want to say too, I want to go back. Like I I only said I hate DC because that of the the way you set me up, Jordan. Like I don't. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't like i it doesn't i've never gotten the impression that any of these dc live action movies have been bad and i've just gotten the impression that some of them like some people are like really into them and then some people just like it's not for them and that's right. fine but i i don't who who are the people that are that were asking for this cut is it people who like uh. dc a lot but didn't like this movie I think that's what See? it comes down to is like, okay. yeah, there, there, there's some like what could have been ism <laughs> yeah. about it. Mm. Um, so here's my hypothesis, too, is that I think that was around a time where people were trying to cancel Joss Whedon. Mm. Um, so when the movie came out and people kind of started to uh, really study Joss Whedon's work and realize that he is not like the kind of cult nerd um idol that a lot of people made made him out to be um and i think a lot of fans had this idea that joss whedon made the movie something completely different in tone because he tried to add more humor in it um and he tried he added like little bits of things and mixed together with Zack snyder's sense it didn't make any sense and i think those were the people who went no we we just want to see what this one person did and see if that makes it any better because it seems mm-hmm. like the Joss Whedon or the one that they had released in theaters from what I'm seeing is it seems like the opinion is um, it's too much clashing. It's too mm-hmm. much mixing it, of it, ideas. It, it definitely feels like it was two directors. Mm. Yes. Okay. I, I guess so... I can see that. And like, it, to me, it just feels kind of clunky to do it this way because like having it's a to me it's like kind of a slippery slope because you don't want to give too much credence to like the the kind of mobness that kind of like yeah some fandoms have Mm -hmm. um i'm I'm assuming that everybody's been very uh diplomatic and the (laughs) discourse has been really good like people just like politely said hey is there any chance we could see this version um I would just love to see it as like an alternative. Thank you very much. Yeah, I think the hashtag going around was pretty pleased release the Snyder Cut. <laughs> We're yeah. asking nicely. I think that okay. was going around. That's good to know. Um, yeah. But at the same time, I feel like, you know, Warner Brothers, the the studio, made kind of made their bed when they made the decision to not kind of shelve the film until Zack Snyder was ready mm-hmm. to finish it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and like... You know, that's a decision you could probably understand a couple of years ago when this movie comes out. Now, in a in a 
post COVID-19 world, it kind of seems a little silly because we've mm-hmm. realized how much things can, you know, just be put on hold in a moment's notice. And um, <laughs> we've, point. we've also talked about how for the most part, people who are truly passionate and supportive about um, creative works and, and the well-being of people is that they're usually okay with something, you know, waiting a little longer for something to either be good uh, okay. or, uh, you know, like a little extra polish or, you know, whatever, whatever they need in order to get it done. So, mm-hmm. you know, I wonder if these same people would have had that reaction as well when, you know, had Warner announced, okay, Zack Snyder needs to take some time off. We're going to push mm. back the release of Justice League mm. uh, a, a year at least. You know, the reaction mm-hmm. to right. that would not have been mm-hmm. positive, I imagine. Mm-hmm. So, I, I you know, so. you're you're damned if you do, damned if you don't in that scenario. Mm-hmm. Um, I think it's kind of a brilliant move for them to release it on HBO Max, the yeah. new Spot platform. Oh, that's a good point. <laughs> yeah. That is a very good point. So I feel like there's not a lot of risk on their part. Well, to except, do this. I mean, isn't it going to cost them like twenty million to do this? That's right. Where, does, really, where why, does that cost why, come from? I didn't. I hadn't yeah, heard that. why does it? I my <laughs> that was the first thing I read. I'm gonna look it up right now. I think it's because there was visual effect shots that weren't done. Ah, oh, no, that totally makes sense. I thought it was going to be because this this whole Zack Snyder cut is actually just hypothetical, and we have to pay him. Oh to do that. God! <laughs> I was, that, that was someone. That was what someone else said too. They're like, "Oh, so they're making an entirely new movie." <laughs> Yeah, and Aaron, the, uh... you didn't watch. Okay, oh, go go you didn't watch the DC movies, right, Aaron? The only one I've seen is Wonder Woman. Right, that I one's think. actually pretty good. That and Shazam See, are I, my favorites. Everybody said that, and then I watched it on a plane to Australia because I was like, "Well, if I don't have anything <laughs> else, else to do. do. Time to watch Wonder Woman." Everybody says it's good. I felt like it was good up until like maybe two thirds of the way, and then the last third. I just was uh, not, just turns into not too, a fan of too much. Yeah, a little too much action and stuff. Uh, it's not even the action. It's just like the ridiculousness of like this mustached god <laughs> like ascending down to fight Wonder Woman. See, it's what, like, ah, I gotcha. Also, I have a mustache. It looks really dumb. What I always find interesting <laughs> is how you either embrace the campiness or you try to make it more realistic. And I yeah, feel like mm-hmm. Marvel movies walk that line perfectly. Like yeah. they can be absurd, but at the same time, they walk the line of believability. And yeah. Suspension of this disbelief. one kind of felt like it was teetering on either side, uh, especially towards the end. It was like, it to me, it felt like it couldn't decide what it wanted to be. So also mm. so according to this hollywood reporter article uh it's going to cost between 20 and 30 million uh it's going to be it might be around four hours long or like holy six, crap six, not worth like, it six individual like tv specials or something what uh, Whoa. And I think they're the just quote, straight up making new content <laughs> well yeah the, the quote said apparently they used only about like a fourth of what they filmed or something like that holy shit Whoa, it was, it was I, and i know all this makes me feel very suspicious about it but this is just what i'm reading yeah, yeah. Uh, and passing off as fact okay suspicious wow yeah so we'll see and the I plot don't... thickens huh yeah yeah that's a thick <laughs> plot <laughs> I mean, as if the I... Justice League <laughs> maybe didn't have a kind of thick plot. Wait, how long was the or is the original? Well, probably like two and a half hours, right? Was, oh my god, it was two and a half. That's yeah, about like the 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 minimum runtime of a movie of, of a that magnitude movie, these yeah. days. Oh yeah. god, we so watched I... I watched a movie last night that was an hour and fifty minutes, and I saw that runtime and was like, oh, that's long. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I just want ninety minute movies back. <laughs> yeah, so I think. The- that you jordan and aaron had hit um about dc and marvel with marvel uh walking that line between campiness and kind of that fantastical element is something i remember i talk about with my friends a lot um because we were really into the marvel movies in college and but we were really into the dc um cartoon shows when we were younger Mm -hmm. and there's some gems in there it's they're amazing and 
it's crazy because if you think, did I watch a Marvel cartoon show growing up? And you think to yourself, no, I didn't because DC X -Men. was uh, true. You're right. Yeah. That was on that was on WB. I never think of them as <laughs> as Marvel nowadays. Yeah. <laughs> that was true. Uh, if only because they're Fox. Um, yeah. But uh, to me, I think that was one of the interesting one of the more interesting i think psychological bits or just kind of psychoanalyzing myself on to why like why do i prefer marvel over dc is it just because these characters are a bit more like uh i think relatable relatable yeah there's marvel superheroes tend to be uh attainable because it's about like these crazy people in high positions who are actually being lowered down to i guess like mm. a plebeian status so to sort of so to say and dc superheroes tend to be really over the top but you see their human side because their whole so purpose is to serve humanity mm. and i think that's such an interesting bit of like oh, okay so you're bringing down uh, a god as opposed to like um kind of putting them on a pedestal but mm -hmm. at the same time, I think for me, the reason why the DC cartoons worked so much was because they were cartoons. Like, you already had yeah. that suspension of disbelief. Whereas if you put it in a live action movie, the camp, and they're trying to make it like edgy and dark, like, oh man, look, those shadows are complete black. Like, it, it, yeah. Yeah. it loses that campiness for me and it becomes like super realistic and yeah. almost like hyper fixated on being real but it's like that's not real <laughs> yeah i, I, my, I think yeah. and it, it all stems from like because it's it's like separate people making these decisions like the people that like made these like really good cartoons that we love like uh batman beyond and batman the animated series and all that yeah. stuff like are different people that who are you know controlling the creative destiny of these uh movies and i think the two worst things that happened that could have happened to like the DC cinematic universe are uh, the Dark Knight being a huge success oh, you know, and yeah. Marvel kind of establishing this notion and succeeding in executing the notion of a cinematic universe, because oh, then you're kind of a slave to this thing. Like, you know, it's, it's in your realm. Like Batman is, is us like, you know, like we can just use that as a jumping off point and oh that's what God. people like. So we're going to make it dark and gritty, but we're also going to try to intertwine all these stories. And, you know, they're just, they're just trying to recapture lightning in a bottle. Uh, yeah. And you can't, so, when, when you, when you're doing that, it, you can't do it. I, I have a question is, so I, I think it's pretty, pretty obvious and clear. And honestly, one of the reasons I like it, it so much is that like John Favreau and you know and and Robert Downey Jr. because I heard they did a lot of it like improv but like he mm -hmm. really set the tone for the MCU with Iron mm -hmm. Man yeah. the first one mm -hmm. like yeah mm -hmm. he, at, like I I, I, that, I to me that's pretty undeniable I mm -hmm. I the impression that I get because again I haven't seen a lot of them the impression I get that it was that the Dark Knight wasn't as influential as Man of Steel was and Zack Snyder like it mm -hmm. seemed like they they banked on the success of Dark Knight, but said, okay, but Man of Steel is going to be like the start of our cinematic universe. Mm. Yeah, and like, but it, it makes you wonder, like, the person who's running the studio, who's like being like, well, this thing that we made with Christopher Nolan is super successful. Yeah. So let's get a guy who can do that for a superhero movie because Christopher Nolan wants to go make a World War II movie. Right. Um, <laughs> Man, it's I, like, oh, Zack Snyder, Mr. Slomo. Just so imagine <laughs> if if Nolan had stuck around. <laughs> if he just made like I one mean, more movie. I think the I think the entire DCU would have been different. I agree. Also, it was I mean, the new maybe, but like I don't want Christopher Nolan like I, I appreciate so much more his other movies than like his Batman movies. I'm not yeah. I'm not even saying that he should. I'm just saying that like yeah. to me to me it, it feels like they went more down that path the the snyder path yeah so yeah. if like nolan had made man of steel instead right and then that and then somebody else had taken it uh aaron what was your question oh uh, yeah is the the new is the new batman with robert patterson is that a reboot is this like <laughs> that's is it part of question. the nobody yeah. knows <laughs> i want to know it keeps me awake at night i'm also kind of <laughs> curious like i, I want to see what he'll do with batman i think he'll do I mean, great yeah oh yeah i have no doubt i think uh, yeah I, just... I think what it needs is just a, a total refresh it like hit the yeah. reset button on it like 
That, that's what everyone says whenever a new Batman <laughs> movie yeah. comes out, like every generation. Please, <laughs> Please be good. Please well, be good. Well, I mean, we're still I'm in this cycle of like, of, of Jokers, like trying to top each other yeah. and stuff, yeah, you know, yeah. Yeah. like just because just... of what Heath Ledger did in The Dark Knight. And it's just like, stop trying to like make it like, you know, an in-depth character experience of like submersing mm. yourself in the role and stuff. Like, just give us you know something different yeah but yeah. But, but jordan he's damaged <laughs> jordan. he's like me and i didn't know that unless he had it tattooed on his forehead <laughs> jordan he's dead i have a sharpie right here and it's like taking all the <laughs> no, I, was looking, I was looking at my sticky pads it's like hmm. yeah <laughs> is it time so oh, like speaking that. of which um did anyone see birds of prey i know that came out like I super know. early this year before the world went to shit but i wanted to and then world went to shit <laughs> i really don't have an excuse now i just have yeah we're on it's on our like oh wait you don't have that set up <laughs> 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 the screener app we have for being warner media company peoples yeah he said did you, uh, you well, saw i mean it? i think you need just buy it now I think it's out, out. Yeah. It is, but I mean, you can watch it for free, Aaron. Also what true. was your question, also Carrie? True. I was like, did you see it? I did. Yes. Um, we, How was it? Uh, uh, huh. It wasn't my favorite. I think it's fair. it was an interest. It was definitely an interesting concept. I definitely want to support it, um, especially since it's a very female driven, um, yeah, yeah. rated R female superhero movie kind of a thing. And there wasn't, um, and it wasn't meant to be like exploitative rated r i think mm -hmm. uh yeah I think no it was rated knows. r because they say fuck yeah <laughs> and there's blood and there's also torture um it's it, <laughs> it does get squeamish oh man all like, the things a girl needs is it like uh was like like ball stuff i can't i can't deal with that ball but stuff? i can deal with <laughs> not that i know of okay i know there's no ball that, stuff you're saying one in the snyder the... cut there is I believe <laughs> that Dan the first Daniel Craig James Bond messed me up. Oh so, my oh, man. god! I can't. Mm -mm. I, I refuse Every time to sit in wicker. I see now. a wicker chair now. No, I, yeah, I, I won't sit in wicker. I won't do it. I won't do it. <laughs> oh. If, so if my only option is a wicker chair, I'll stand. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I... st I'll stand. Oh my god. <laughs> Um, but I thought the movie was okay. It's not. It's not my favorite. Uh, I think Jordan had said before, but um, Shazam was really good, and that was definitely my mm -hmm. favorite. But it was because that was kind of the campiness I'm looking for. Whereas Birds of Prey, like, definitely took advantage of Harley Quinn being Harley Quinn. Um, oh, they changed the name, didn't they? Har yeah, they did change the name. It was like, Birds of Prey, and it's like Harley um, Quinn colon, and the emancipation yeah. of Harley Quinn, and now yeah. it's Harley Quinn Birds of Prey. It's more so, I think, for search engines or searching. They said, yeah. um, but the Classic. official title is still that. It's still Birds okay. of Prey. Um, it's it's just the way that appears on your ticket, and it kind of has like a different title whenever you look. But um, first off, Margot Robbie was great uh nailed the character i cannot sing her praises enough about like her performance in that movie it was kind of wild um there was a really good animation bit in the beginning too which i was like good job warner using your animation studios <laughs> yeah. i see you um and it, i think I, some previous um rt employees worked on the title sequence oh really that's yeah. awesome i think penny and a few oh, others she from that's our cool. comp team yeah i'll oh, have to double check cool. But I'm That's pretty true. sure. That seems like a very penny thing to do. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. She'd sign up for that. Yeah. Hello. Um, uh, what else about the movie did I like? I, I like the cast of characters that they, that they had. Um, I think mm -hmm. the actresses who played every single character, uh, played them and wanted to play them. Like mm. they're very genuine about the way they went about it, good. which I think was really, really fun. When it comes down to it, it's I think the movie is very much your mileage may vary. To me, the down parts of the movie were I think there were some action bits that were slower than I would have liked, and mm. they definitely use a couple slow mo shots where I was like, ah, oh, that didn't need to be slow mo. But like, good on you. Um, stunt woman for doing that great stunt. That was great. Do you think like um, yeah, w like was Zack Snyder on set that day? Like, just checking <laughs> it out. And he was like, was like, wait, now this all looks that. great, but slow mo. <laughs> exactly. It was like even better if you could Snyder. see longer. <laughs> There's a. Um... Uh, screenshots going around of people sarcastically saying, "Wow, Zack Snyder is so subtle with his imagery. It'll be like Superman floating." 
Jesus oh, yeah. style yeah, with like a like cross, cross in the background. It's like, yeah. oh, uh. that's what that's like what we were kind of talking about with like the issue of him being like a, a stand in for Christ. Like, yeah, it's just that's not his story. I feel like he's not the savior. It is not subtle feel, at all. I feel Ugh. like that's like uh, the equivalent of media telephone when an artist interprets him one mm. way and another person who's an artist goes, oh, I like that interpretation and they do it. And then you get the same exact line of more artists doing the same yep. thing until you have what we have now with like Superman. Yep. And, and it Jesus comes like a caricature or like a watered down version. Yeah. I agree. So, Bummer. I nah, so well, so, OK, that was you know, this whole release, the Zack Snyder cut thing was maybe a not as great version of people demanding things, it sounds like, <laughs> online. Um, mm -hmm. But it sounds like there was a good version of that lately. Yes. I actually, if somebody else wants to talk about this, I have actually never seen the show, but now I'm very interested in it. Uh, uh, Tuca and Birdie's coming back. Yeah. Yeehaw. It was a it was a Netflix series show. And uh, <clears throat> they are. Uh, I'm already sold. It, <laughs> it was it's like great reviews critically acclaimed um but this was also a show that came out right as netflix kind of shifted its priorities as mm. to what they consider uh content they want to they want to put up oh. um, shifted away from this sh yeah shifted away from stuff like this and more gotcha. towards Weird. like reality clicky mm. watchy watch mm. hour stuff um, Which is weird because you know, it's by the character designer from BoJack Horseman, and like, yeah. that did well on Netflix. Like, I don't know why yeah. they would be like, mm, maybe not this one. Mm -hmm. It's real weird. I think I think it was just a change in mentality, I that, guess. and it got caught up in it. Mm -hmm. um, uh, but uh, Adult Swim is bringing it back, so hey. um, oh, dope. Yeah, it's going to be okay. an, adult, an Adult Swim show now. Um, I don't know if it's web exclusive, or I'm pretty sure it'll be on um the network so yeah. um that kind of makes it technically part of the warner family so oh, snap. Um, oh you're right <laughs> one of us <laughs> uh but uh yeah i i enjoy that show it's 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 funny and it uses the medium of animation really well um it reminds me of uh not to toot my own horn but it reminds me of rta <laughs> sometimes with nice. like these little pop in uh things that happens but um I think it's just fun and it's a good uh, it's a good use of animation and um it, it can also it also gets like deep and has like very uh uh relatable characters like mm -hmm. uh birdie is very anxious and like has like insecure in her self-esteem and stuff like that and uh Tuke is just kind of very loud extroverted and right. uh she has her own struggles and stuff so it, it's a good show you you watch it for um all those good bits and um i'm glad it's coming back so um, awesome. yeah looking forward to it i think it's coming next year Ooh, yeah 2021 okay. it's funny i had a kind of a similar thing happen with brooklyn 99 where i i had heard of it but i hadn't really yeah. watched it yet and then in in they the fervor canceled. of it getting canceled and then picked <laughs> yep. back up i was like okay enough people seem to care like i'm gonna check it out now yeah mm -hmm. it it's like this its own marketing I was kind of in the it's same, really yeah, nice. same thing. Some it's it's weird how yeah the a show's like possible demise or actual demise like serves as a boost to yeah. audiences. Um, this also happened with this. This isn't in our rundown or anything, but I just know this offhand. This has happened with a show that I think used to be on TBS or like one of those Turner shows. Uh, mm. uh, Leverage. Do you remember this le this show Leverage? Mm -hmm. It's it's like one of those like burn notice is a oh, Isles like, type of shows yeah. that like kind of were Never just like it. on that kind of tier of network television. Like everybody but, knew about it, but like you if you tried to find somebody who watched it, you couldn't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um. It like I don't think there was an outcry or anything, but this is such a weird thing and you guys you guys are gonna have the same reaction i had to this i bet mm -hmm. so amazon has prime video and they put shows yes. on that okay. that is a paid su subscription service yes. yes apparently amazon also owns imdb and there is an imdb uh, sub uh not subscription platform but streaming platform that's coming called imdb 
DB TV, probably. Who knows? Oh god, that's a but lot of letters. But it's 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 a free it's a free version basically. So it's 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 an AVOD. It's supported by ads instead of subscriptions. Uh-huh. Um, and Leverage is getting rebooted or res- resurrected on it for like another season, and it okay. mainly had to do with just good streaming numbers. So interesting, but yeah, but not on so, Prime. I don't know if it was on Prime or right. on Netflix or something. There's there's a lot of there's a lot of odds. Yeah, exactly. And why IMD uh IMDb. IMDb. Yeah, well, like what? I go to IMDb <laughs> to find out who was in a movie, not to watch the movie. Yeah, exactly. How how can you possibly profit off of IMDb already though? Like what I mean, is there you, profit? You have to, like, just ads. Ads and like the you have to like pay. Yeah, just people to going it. to the site. Yeah, that's I think true. If there's like a there's like a pro account you can get. Man, there I is, had two yeah. I had two entries for for me because people like credited me with like a misspelling of my name. They oh, like no. in, instead of on. instead of I E they put E I, um, and then and, they they, uh, they put uh, instead of the A at the end they put O. So it was Jordan. No, oh, shut yeah. up. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh so i had to like go through this whole rigmarole to just like like flag the one that's misspelled um and get it to change and like wrote the reason why and it took like six months it was such a mess and like it doesn't even really matter that's what i was gonna jordan i'm asking why it just bugged me one day (laughs) okay i don't know one day i decided i'm gonna pick this fight Okay, okay. I have a similar thing. I haven't checked in a while, but when I was first put up on there, I had credits as a makeup artist. So I think there's another Erin Wynn that does makeup. Uh... And for a while, she was listed on my page, uh, but I haven't checked in a while. I kind of... Sometimes I'll remember it, and then others, I'll just like, eh, whatever. Yeah, when when I I search for your name, there's one that says Art Department Ruby, and there's another that doesn't have anything. Okay. (laughs) That, that answers my question yeah that, <laughs> i think that might be that might be it yeah i, I mean w- what i'm hearing is you're you're a makeup artist i mean i do enjoy makeup so <laughs> i mean like is you know that's what i moonlight as except i'm not very good at it <laughs> i just use the same name <laughs> i disagree let me i'm I trying think... to think oh nope you know what Uh you know what you is did hey aaron you did oh no do you, I don't know if you remember you were the hairstylist and makeup artist on uh, Home to Win, uh, a TV series in 2018. I don't know if you remember, but you did do that. Um, oh yeah, then, definitely. And then you were. It was the episode. Okay, the, you'll remember the episode was B, our guest, um, B E E. So I'm assuming there's it was some type of like <laughs> B themed episode. And then you were an assistant hairstylist and makeup artist uh, in uh, the Blobheads. Oh yeah, of course, um, my favorite. The episode is the, the Oz Barnes. So, um, <laughs> you know, besides, I mean, you did do those two things. I mean, what can I say? Just a very talented person. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We... You said what? What was that? What was what was doing hair and makeup on on Home to Win like? What, well, what was that? You know those those homes. Sometimes they just need a little touch up. Oh, it really, it really is. Yeah, three Canadian families yeah, compete you know. to win a home <laughs> yeah. that has you know, been designed a, and renovated by Canadian designers and contractors. Canada. It it does have a four point nine out of ten. Oh, oh fuck! <laughs> um, I thought it was a four point nine out of five. <laughs> What's so bad about it? <laughs> I, it, I was it do, do we need to answer that? I, guess I mean, this, it, like, this, is it this kind of TV is great, though. Like, I don't. Do they make the families like fight each other? Do they make them like they're Canadian? Crawl on Why the would ground? they fight each other? Yeah, no, they just. They, oh, there they... wasn't enough fighting. Uh, it's whoever yeah. runs out of compliments for the other first. <laughs> uh, yeah, true. We love Canadians. You go. Are very nice people. Um, uh, we have time. We have artists. time for. Uh, we got a a question. Let's do it. Um, Ooh, yeah, let's do a question. People. A we question. like to ask people and people like to ask us questions that they think they, uh, they'd they like to hear us talk about with about the creative process, animation industry, or pipeline, what's going on with us, what's going on with you. Uh, so let's pull this one up. So no. Plan L uh, says, Plan is there a book, graphic novel, or manga that you wish as an individual or as a company could buy the rights to animate? Asking because I've become obsessed with imagining how I could animate some stories I love. And I have a feeling y'all can relate. We do relate. 
We do relate play. Very. Well. Yeah. Um, I think in one episode I talked about the adventure zone, like how oh, I yeah. was jealous that that one yeah. company got it. Um, but I actually have that with like almost all non animated or non, uh, film media that I consume. Like if I'm reading a book, it's like, oh man, this would be, this would be cool to, cool, cool to adapt. Though? And like, right. here, yeah, here's same. how I would do it. And like, um, I even watched a video about like a, a story from a historical story that was like interesting. And I was like, this would make a good movie too, if you did it this way. <laughs> if you know um, it, yeah. So I, I do it all the time and I have like a running list of stuff that like, just to try out, um, nice. you know, an experiment with, but um, there's not any one that I can think of off the top of my head. Boo. Mm. I have, I have, there's, there's a couple that like, because I'm in a similar boat where I do that a lot. There's a couple that like, the one that I like, I, I'm gonna say this one for sure because it's like I this this I don't I don't think this would actually turn out well. Well, I don't know. I don't want to say that, but I don't. I think the chances of this happening are like zero. Uh, there's a, a Murakami book called One Q84. Oh yeah. Um, that I would like love to turn into like a series of movies. There's this, there is this graphic novel called The uh, East of West. Hmm. It's a image comic that I uh, I love. And that would be another one on my list. Would both of them be animated, um, Carrie, or is like one live I think, action or just? I, I I would I would I mean I just like doing animation, so like mm-hmm. that would be my list, like my dream. But uh, I I could see, I think I think one Q eighty four has a better chance of being live action. East of West feels like the kind of thing that would be like really cool to do animated, just so you know it doesn't turn into the Wild Wild West. Mm. Uh, <laughs> What was that? Was that the Will Smith movie? Yeah, yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, yes. And what would be so wrong with that, though? That's a good. That's a good point. I, I still somewhere in my parents' house, uh, I have the Burger King Wawa West sunglasses. Yeah, I had those. Sure. Yeah, I had those. Okay, Aaron, uh, what would you answer for this particular question? Oh, I'm glad you asked, Isa. So, <laughs> I I'm glad we finally got to this and waited till when we did. Uh, so I recently caught up on this manga called Chainsaw Man. And oh my god, I saw you posting about yes, this. Yes, <laughs> I was live blogging about this on my Instagram stories because it is a ride. Uh, basically, it's, it is, uh, it's in Shonen Jump, which is kind of surprising because uh, Shonen Jump is mostly like 13 and older, I guess. Mm-hmm. And there is definitely like not... I don't know how it made it into Shonen Jump, honestly. Uh, I feel like it should be a seinen, um, uh, okay, which is okay. like for adults, because people get fucked up. It's um, just a guy with a chainsaw for a head. Yep, it's exactly right? what it sounds like. He's got <laughs> he's a uh, he hunts devils, as they call them, um, who terrorize people. Um, that would work really well as like an over the top, almost like axe cop kind of. <laughs> it it kind of is, yeah. He's got um, this devil hunter. He has a chainsaw for a head. His chainsaw is coming out of his arms and he fights these devils <laughs> and there's a big cast of characters and they all have like different powers um different devil hunters can like team up with devils to fight devils um there's like it's it's whack uh i posted about it's whack <laughs> it's whack um post about katana man exactly what it sounds like okay. there's a girl with a bomb for her head oh. um it's is very it b- bomb woman bomb woman uh actually they don't say okay she just has a normal name unfortunately <laughs> that's I, but I, be consistent yeah <laughs> it's, it's pretty yeah. rad it's very it like, cool. adaptation she is bomb woman yeah oh, yeah yeah that's how I tag yourself it's, uh her reveal is so cool but yeah it's just really like it's very like punk uh very like devil cool. may care yeah it has a lot of style to it it's 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 kind of dumb obviously um but yeah it's a lot of fun i i want to adapt that um probably as well i mean it's probably gonna get an anime just i mm. like i know it's doing pretty well i okay. think there's 70 chapters out right now okay so okay i, I know my dreams are gone by but it's it's I never could. too late let's I just would. let's let's just slide into their dms and be like hey what's up yeah hey what's up <laughs> please take a chance isa yeah. isa what about you um, I was thinking about this one. So 
Um, I'm not going to say what it is, but I think everyone here knows I have this fanfic that I love to pieces. Is it the Powerpuff, it's Powerpuff Girl, Girl yes. fanfic? Yes! And Ooh. I have loved it since I was in high school, and I've been meaning to make a um, comic adaptation out of it. And even just like it's, mm -hmm. it's the kind of the reason why I draw so many Powerpuff Girls whenever I, um, whenever I'm just like having fun, or mm -hmm. if I want to do something that's just for personal reasons, I'll do uh, something Powerpuff Girl related. It's just because of this, and I'm not going to say what it is. You guys can just look it up yourselves. Whoever's can I guess? listening, whoever's watching, I'm gonna guess. what? What? I think it's is this the one you told me about that you that you do that's the Rowdy Rough Boys uh and the Canker Sisters from Ed and Eddie is that that's what you told me about right no oh the Cartoon Network Cinematic Universe yeah <laughs> <laughs> the CNCU yeah. I'm just, also, I'm just I, like, up I just like how varied <laughs> our answers are I have Chainsaw Man and Issa's very wholesome with the power of girls thank you thank you, thank you. Well, that but speaks if, to everyone's personalities yeah, I think. yeah right <laughs> if there was an actual like book or published work that i would um want to adapt though it's actually the percy jackson series or whatever rick riordan has done oh. but disney has uh disney has I mean, disney snatched Plus. that up oh, we, yeah. could, we could fight them <laughs> we, can we yeah. fight disney okay i believe in us. the four of us in. yeah yeah individual <laughs> but yeah form like a mecca to stand yeah. on each other's shoulders we can we're, take them we're down like voltron we'll be real <laughs> tall <laughs> um so update on the select all shirts if they're not out by the time this episode is airing they're coming soon um, <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're doing a dual launch with uh kind of like um just a regular logo one and then we're doing the pride one and mm. uh, we're also talking about spinning the pride one off into other uh pride adjacent format Whoa. so that's cool uh, and, and there stay, was a, stay tuned uh the pride one there's a charity that goes to right the aforementioned uh charity is uh equality texas all right a wait no wait no? it's oh. something more specific it's protecting youth there you go <laughs> <laughs> all right uh looks like that's our show thanks yeah. everyone Yay. for tuning in if you haven't already please like and subscribe to i have notes for the next episode do you have notes feel free to tell us in the comment section leave us all of your love and all of your critiques uh we don't actually have merchandise but if you want it let everyone know uh otherwise carrie will just keep making our shirts and our hats <laughs> and our water y'all want a cat boy shirt <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah we can do a cat boy shirt cat boy <laughs> shirt Cat uh, boy shirt. There you go. <laughs> cat Love boy that. shirt. Shout out cat boy shirt. All right. Thanks, everyone. Have thanks. a great weekend. Bye. Bye. Bye.